Am I the a-hole for ruining my friend's wedding by first reusing to give her my own wedding and then for crying when I was made to live in a semi-public space? Sorry in advance for the long post. English is not our primary language. Partner A. Entitled friend EFs. Parents EFP. Parents P. My partner A, 28 male, and I, 25 female, were scheduled to marry this year. A and I and my family would be paying for it. Months before the wedding, A got injured. He put on hold on the ceremony. The date we had picked was also important for us. Several vendors couldn't refund us the decor, food, and the location. A and I were leaning towards having a small party instead on the same day. My friend EF, 27 female, was also engaged. After A and I canceled our wedding, I had been talking to her about telling her about about it. She said, it would be funny if I had my wedding there on that day instead. I firmly said no, as that day was still a significant day for me and I would be planning something else for that day. EF then led her parents, EFP, to believe that I offered her the venue, food, and decor. It was only when they visited my family to give them the wedding invites that my parents, P, learned of this. P were in the loop about my own plans with the location. However, EF started crying, asking her got parents P to agree. P did not confirm till they had spoken to me. EFP, EF, and P wanted to convince me but I said no. EF and EFP started accusing P for having raised their hopes and going back on their words. Under coercion, A and I, A and I felt obligated to say yes. A friend invited me to her wedding as a bridesmaid. I declined to attend. I told EF that P were free to attend. This resulted in a breakdown on her end with all her friends and family calling me to yell at me. She threatened to cancel the wedding if I was not present. A asked me to reconsider. I agreed to attend. I did let EF know that I would be attending. On the day of the wedding, I contacted a mutual to ask the color of the bride and the bridal party's outfits to not clash with them. However, EFP pulled me aside to demand that I had to go change as EF wore something similar. I made it clear that if I left I would not making it back. The argument grew from there and I walked out. I broke down and I cried in the parking lot. I was surrounded by some of our mutual friends. I was not aware of the fact that EF's boss was just around the corner and overheard me crying and was upset at EF's behavior. Other guests nearby were starting to crowd but I was too distressed to see anyone else. After we left, this spread like wildfire at the wedding with several guests either scolding EFR, EFP, and EF and many others walking out. P scolded me for acting the way I did and for ruining EF's marriage as well as angry messages, social media posts, and angry voicemails from many of her EFP and EF's family and friends calling me a spot brat and attention whore. Even EFPs have been telling people that they paid for the whole wedding and that I am just throwing a tantrums to gain attention. I confirmed with P they did not pay. However, with everyone around me calling me the a-hole, am I the a-hole? NTA, let me get this straight. Your friend threatened to cancel her wedding if you didn't attend, and, instead of laughing at her idiocy you actually agreed to attend. Why? You could have just told her to go ahead and cancel the wedding. So, in a sense she created a fiction in your family's social circle that your wedding was promised to the man. Because of the fiction, not giving her the wedding, she would have made it appear as if you have promised her the wedding, and then back down from that promise leaving her with her wedding all planned. But the rug pulled from under her dot and d that would have been social death to your parents, and ta. I hope you're not her friend anymore, she certainly isn't yours. Yeah this story is driving me a little batty, and it doesn't make sense to me. Ah can break a promise she never made to begin with because that would result in her parents' social death, but Ah can break her word and storm out of the wedding, as she promised to come to it, or her friend threatened to cancel the whole damn thing. What? Okay then let her. And then create a giant scene in the parking lot crying and people gathering all around, and that somehow doesn't result in her parents' social death. If everyone is now siding with them and understanding, I don't get why they couldn't have just said no to begin with, because it doesn't sound like they are socially dying, and would not have if they just said no to begin with. I get that there are cultures where things are very formal and strict and all, but a society would collapse if people could just make up promises you made them, and you were thereby bound to keep them or become ostracized or exiled. 
so she used the stigma of your culture on going back on your word to manipulate you into letting her take your wedding how does your culture feel about liars? She is a liar. A dirty, rotten, low down, two timing, event stealing liar. Yunta but trust me, no good comes from keeping company with liars. Rid yourself of that quiet like a church mouse. You see the pleasure her company has brought you already. And TA, you did go back on your word. First you said, no, then you changed it to say, yes, double standard alert it's only going back on your word once you've agreed to the tactics of manipulation, so I am personally shaming you for trying to accommodate a petulant, should be ex, friend and now you have to resort to asking strangers, whether you were right or wrong. F is not your friend. Lesson learned, right? First time I am coming across a family of doormats. Apparently, in the same society, it is okay to lie and cheat, they won't get shamed and abused. You and your family seem to have a broken sense of morality, please don't blame it on this society. And TA, of course not. But I would say you are somewhat of an odd towards yourself for letting your friend walk all over you like that. EF asking to use the venue should have been a no, and stayed a no. And they got it for free as well girl never allow this kind of disrespect. Again. Why you also need to get a U-Haul, pack all F, EFPs, all mutual friends, and throw them all away. I can't even imagine this chain of events that involves so many instances of not standing up for yourself. It should not be possible for someone to just make up lies and put them out there into the world, and then there be no course of action to call out their lies without ruining your cultural reputation. I really don't get why you couldn't have cleared your name by saying, no that is not what we said or promised, and our parents didn't say or promise that either. I completely agree with me being an odd towards myself. However in our culture reputation is a big thing, and when my parents started getting abused, after my fiancé, and I spent the entire day running from one hospital to another for tests, it was too much, and I could not say no. Some of my mutuals have been great and very supportive since the beginning, but at the end of the day the situation slipped out of my hands very quickly, 